Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Power Is Now teleconference. At this time, all participants are in a listen-only mode. Later, we will conduct a question and answer session, and instructions on how to participate will be given at that time. If anyone requires operator assistance during the call, please press star, then zero on your touchtone telephone. And as a reminder, today's conference call is being recorded. I would now like to turn the conference over to the host of The Power Is Now, Mr. Eric Frazier. Good morning and welcome to The Power Is Now teleconference. My name is Eric Frazier. I'm the president of the Orange County Association of Real Estate Brokers, a chapter of the National Association of Real Estate Brokers. Please go to www.ocareb.org and check out this organization and what's happening. A lot of things are going on at OKREP. I'm also the host of the Power Is Now teleconference. Thank you so much for joining the teleconference today. It is a beautiful day in Southern California and a great day to talk about big bucks and big lawsuits or big lawsuits with uh, Michael Hellickson. More about Michael in just a few minutes. In addition to your, being your host of The Power Is Now, I'm also the branch manager for Wells Fargo Home Mortgage North Orange County Markets. So once a week I conduct this teleconference, but every day, folks, I lead a team of home mortgage consultants who serve this market and branches throughout North Orange County. They are the most professional, knowledgeable people you can work with in the industry. We call ourselves the Do It Now team because we work with a sense of urgency. Folks, we get the job done. In fact, in the last 30 days, we closed 25 purchase transactions in less than 30 days. We closed 15 in under 20 days. And just yesterday, we funded a transaction that came from LaToya James. Thank you, LaToya. Buyer's agent on a listing from Maria Chong, top REO broker in Cerritos. It fell out with a competitor. They brought it to us Friday, October 29th, an FHA transaction. We had docs on Friday, November 5th. Five, that's, that's five working days, folks. And it funded yesterday and recorded. I'm telling you, and I tell you this every week, we are the Do It Now team, and we get the job done. And, uh, you know, I can get the agents on the phone I can get the buyers on the phone, if you like, because they can't believe it themselves that we can get the job done so quickly. And we back it all up with the close on time guarantee. That's right. If we don't close your transaction on or before the close of escrow date, we will make your client's first month's principal and interest payment. And that's, of course, if it is our fault. And no one in the industry is making an offer like that. So I, I really encourage you to consider one of our team members on your next transaction. And you can contact any one of us at thedoitnowteam.com, thedoitnowteam.com. Thank you for the opportunity to serve your clients. And if you're out of the area, please go to wellsfargo.com forward slash mortgage and get in contact with a local home mortgage consultant. And I promise you will not be disappointed. The phrase of power is now suggests that we maximize our potential for success in business and life when we act on information and opportunities now, the present is our future because the future is only a reflection of our past decisions to act now. Don't let procrastination, folks, rob you of opportunity. The goal of this program is to help prevent inaction from happening repeatedly through sharing relevant and powerful and motivational information every week that you can act on. The Power is Now Teleconference is a series of conference calls designed to empower our real estate agent partners to sell more homes expand their business of buyers and sellers, to be well informed about changes in lending, the market, the economy, government programs, anything that may affect your clients and your business. Please email me at eric.frazier at thepowerisnow.com, eric.frazier at thepowerisnow.com, and let me know what you think about the teleconference and how the program can continue to support your needs. Last week, we had a dynamic speaker, Kathy Pitwell, Miss Mindset, they call her. She is a success coach, a producer, a speaker. She's been at this for a long time, coaching people. In fact, we talked about the secrets of subconscious selling, how to overcome your inner stops and blocks. And I tell you, folks, if you missed that call last week, please go to facebook.com forward slash the power is now. Facebook.com forward slash the power is now and listen to Kathy Pitwell. It's some life-changing stuff she's talking about. And, in fact, she has a special pilot going on right now. She was looking for seven people to participate in, a, in a, about a, about a seven-week program 
uh, please contact her uh, for those details. You can reach her at 949-510-2510. And again, the recording of that show is on facebook.com forward slash the power is now. Today, we have Michael Hellickson, renegade, real estate agent, speaker, coach, philanthropist, club wealth, world-class coaching, world-class results. So, you know, let's get started with Michael. And before we get into our discussion, and our talk today is about big bucks or big lawsuits waiting to happen, let me tell you about this guy. Michael has been in the business since 1991 and has been among the top 1% of all agents nationally since before he even graduated high school. With over 417 short sales and more than 325 REOs in under 10 months, it's no surprise that Michael skyrocketed to becoming Washington State and the entire Northwest number one real estate agent and also one of the top REO brokers in the nation. Additionally, Helixson is considered by most to be the number one short sale expert in the world. During his career, Hellickson has spoken to thousands of agents and organizations nationwide and has also been featured on several national television and radio programs, including Glenn Beck, CNBC, The Dave Ramsey Show, The Fox Business Network, and among many other local and regional programs. Hellickson is also the founder and president of Club Wealth Coaching. Hellickson and his team of top producing coaches mentor and train agents, lenders, servicers, outsourcers, world and community leaders, that's right, folks, world and community leaders, brokers, salespersons in various industries worldwide on topics ranging from REO and short sales to managing your profit and loss and running your business like a sharp CEO. Michael and his wife, Tara, and their two children make their home in Boney Lake, Washington, where they are active in their church, sports, outdoor activities, and very philanthropic efforts. Michael, the last time you were on the call with us was in August uh, of this year, August 19th, and, man, that was an, uh, an incredible call. You gave us specific lead sources to generate for, uh, short sales in less than 10 months, um, seven ways to get short sale listings in a week, the right and wrong way to qualify your leads before going on to appointments, tracking and, mag and, and maximizing your lead generation dollar, and creating consistent, predictable lead flow every single day, whether you are at work or not. Folks, that was a fabulous call. It is recorded. In fact, we're going to put that on the website, facebook.com forward slash the Ford is now, uh, the power is now, and I'm going to make sure that it's on the website, on the Facebook website by tomorrow so you can listen to that call for some real strategies on how to generate short sale business. Mike, thanks for being on the call today. I really appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule. It's always an honor, Eric. It's always an honor to be on your show. Well, I really appreciate it. Uh, today we're talking about a very serious subject. Um, you know, short sales right now are dominating the marketplace. Uh, you would agree. Uh, everyone is still trying to establish relationships with asset managers and, and outsourcers to do REOs, but short sales seem to be dominating the marketplace. And with that great opportunity of doing short sales, there's a whole lot of liability, right, Mike? Well, I'll tell you, there sure is. More now than ever, ever before, and it's getting worse every day. Well, you know, your topic, big bucks are big lawsuits waiting to happen, uh, really kind of speaks to that issue. And um, I want to share with our audience uh, and read what you put on the flyer, and hopefully if you don't have the flyer, we'll make sure you get it out. Well, we'll drop it again on a replay or something. But let me read Mike's statement and what has happened to him over the last several months. And this is a quote. He says, they violated my civil rights twice. And even after admitting they destroyed vital evidence that would exonerate me, the Washington State Department of Licensing will stop at nothing to discredit my reputation and destroy my career. I have been slandered by other agents. My family and my team have been terrorized by industry professionals, and we have been attacked by malicious actions of our own MLS. Despite their reckless and deliberate attacks, and after spending ridiculous amounts of money fighting in court, we are back, fully licensed to sell real estate, yet forever damaged by the warrantless and reckless slander perpetrated by those who would abuse the power we gave them. You could be next. 600 California real estate agent licenses were taken from them in one year alone. We are here to stay. 
and we have yet to be found guilty of even a single minor infraction. In years past, state auditors have even suggested that our files were so clean uh, that we uh, should put together teaching classes. Well, that's exactly what I'm doing. I have devoted the rest of my professional career to helping agents avoid the challenges I have faced, to helping them build and grow their businesses ethnically and with the highest of moral standards while maintaining balance in every area of their business and their life. It's all about balance today, right, Mike? It's all about balance. Absolutely. It, well, it sure is, Eric. You have been really at the top of your game for a long time. Uh, you have been really riding a wave of success and uh, just speaking all over the country, doing incredible volume, making a ton of money. And then all of a sudden, you know, this comes, this trouble comes your way. Mike, what was going on? Where were you when you first learned? What were you doing? What were you doing when you first learned that you had these very serious issues at your doorstep? Uh, you know, it's it's funny, Eric. Uh, you know, I'd been on. We were actually on vacation in Hawaii with the family, and uh, Tara and the kids and I uh, were enjoying our time there. And it, you know, I had been very in, introspective on that trip, and was doing a lot of praying about uh, you know having greater balance in my life and more time for the kids and my family, and uh, and also to have more time for coaching because that's where my true passion and, and my heart really lies. And, uh, and it's interesting, you got to be careful what you pray for because uh, literally while I was in Hawaii uh, praying for that balance, uh, I, I got an email from my attorney. And uh, the email basically said, uh, hey, Michael, without warning, without due process, without an opportunity to, uh, to discuss the allegations, the state of Washington has suspended your license uh, pending a hearing. And uh, so they issued a temporary suspension pending a hearing, and, um, and and there was, like I said, no opportunity to reply even to their allegations. And they used uh, an emergency statute uh, that really was designed for people that, you know, if they were embezzling funds or, you know, embezzling trust funds, that sort of thing. And, uh, and it really needed to have risen to an emergency statute level and uh, and eventually, and you'll, we'll find as we go through the call today, uh, you know, that we, we found in court, we proved that that action by the state was actually another violation of our civil rights, and the judge uh, literally found them guilty of having violated our right to due process, and uh, that there was no emergency that existed, and that in fact, uh, to date, even to this day, none of those charges have been proven, they have not uh, found us guilty of one thing. Uh, now, don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean that we couldn't have done things, and we're going to discuss today on this call some of the things that we could do or could have done to prevent some of this from happening um, and, and things that agents can do to avoid having these challenges happen in their career. But as it stands, I'm the only guy that I know that literally lost uh, over $4 million in 24 hours uh, in the real estate business. So <laughs> it was yeah, it's, it's 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 easy to laugh about it now, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, um, it's something to be avoided, and it's something that definitely, um, you know, it's one, it's it's a big part of my mission to help other agents avoid this. So, Mike, what was the foundation? Because, you know, in your statement here, you says Washington State Department of Licensing will stop at nothing to discredit my reputation and destroy my career. Why are they after you like this? What what is the What's what's behind all of this, Mike? I mean, well, I think understand. it's I, yeah. Well, and, and you can, I want to start by saying you know I don't want anyone to think that you know to get the idea that I'm I'm angry or or that, you know that I've got any malicious intent toward the state of Washington because you know I certainly don't feel that way. Um, I do, however, feel that the system is is broken and the the challenge that we have is uh, you know this this all started about two years ago. Uh, two years ago, that you know, and, and even today, the state has been in the habit of uh, conducting random audits of files for agents. And my understanding is this happens in a lot of other states as well, where they'll literally knock on your door and say, "Hello, we're here, and we'd like to see all your files." And uh, frankly, that is a violation of an agent's Fourth Amendment rights against illegal search and seizure. And uh, we believe that to be the case, and so we told them, hey, we're not going to show your files without 